John Foreman, who you've already mentioned before, produced the album. A producer can have a lot of different roles uh, in mm. different albums. Mm. Uh, it sounds to me like he had quite a hands-on approach to your record. How much did he yeah. help you make it? Um, oh, John, I'd almost go as far as saying this is as much John's album as it is mine, you know. Mm. We um we sat down. Better be careful because you might have to put your, his name. Yeah, on yeah. John Foreman, <laughs> Carl Isley. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, but we sat down together um, straight after Idol and um, and and started talking about tunes and 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 what and um, what sort of vibe we'd like to come across. Um, we'd like to have come across and um, yeah, John, John's sort of really close to me now. He's, he sort of became my unofficial manager and. And mentor um, uh, straight after Idol, and, and we sorted through all these issues, and um, yeah, so so we're both really really happy with the outcome and how it all came out. So did he bring any songs to the table that you weren't familiar with, or, yeah, or not did. keen on, or anything? Certainly did. Yeah, um, let's fall in love um, was his suggestion, which is the first song on the album, and um, it's the perfect song. Um, um, for track number one, because it just, uh, it, it, uh, you know, if you were to play the, uh, the first song of the album, which is Let's Fall In Love, it shows you every aspect of, of every tune of the album. There's the slow orchestral vibe at the start, and, um, and we've got a couple of tunes that are just like that. And then you've got a heavy, heavy swing, um, he- heavy swing vibe sort of after the intro of Let's Fall In Love, and that's that's sort of the rest of the album. So um, so it's a great song to ch- sort of sum up the album, really. I suppose also having John in the studio uh, would have been almost a barrier for you. I, I imagine it could have been quite daunting having 26 serious professional musicians um, mm. in there backing it you. It was, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was very... Uh, it was scary to, to start off with. I, I didn't really know what to say or really know what to do. Uh, when all these guys just started pouring through, um, pouring through into the studio, and I'm thinking, oh man, that I'm, I'm sort of just going, hi, oh hi, I'm Carl, and oh, I'm Carl. <laughs> I didn't mean, know what I was. Yeah, I was, I was very scared. Like I, I um, felt very intimidated. But um, yeah, it was, it was good to have John there because we were really good, we were close mates by that stage, and and he just reassured me, that, man, it's all good, and they're, they're all a great bunch of guys, and. And um, by the end, by the end of the week, yeah, like, it was fantastic. I have this impression, and this is um, not based on anything uh, other than a stereotype in my own head. But all of the musicians would have been uh, cranky old guys in suits who take <laughs> music way too seriously and have absolutely no sense of humour. Have like a cigar down the bottom there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know the guy. No, no, like um, that's funny. Um, no, everyone was really cool. Everyone was really nice. Um, um, uh, if you could picture sort of uh, really lovely looking violinists walking in, you know, dainty walking in, very beautiful petite women playing the, in the orchestra, and and then we've got um, um, yeah, no, everyone was everyone was just great, and they um, and they, and they loved they loved working on the album.